Stay tuned. Come on with me. We're going to have some fun today because I got some things I want to show you. Make sure I've got some loaded on the brush. I'm going to wipe it off. Hello everyone, how are you? Today is Thursday and for the last week I've been really busy playing with my uh, cup turner that I made a while ago and I have been trying to figure out how to use it. I do have one that just came off the turner that is still drying. I've got one on the turner. I've got two that need final coat on them and then I can show you everything. Pretty excited. I just kind of wish I had two. Um, and this is the one, of course, that I made out of a rotisserie and a wood box that I had here at the house. I'm just trying to figure out how to make a second one for myself. So, um, things will move along quicker. Uh, the last cup that I had just taken off of the turner, put epoxy on at 1.30, and it was just able to be taken off very carefully. And what I did was I inverted it up onto an old paper towel holder. I got that trick off of a video on YouTube yesterday. I've got a ton of the glitters hanging out here. I have alcohol and paper towel, which I have been wiping the cups down with after they come off the turner and they get washed. This helps remove any little residue and makes it uh, pretty clean and so you get rid of the dust. So here are my epoxies and these things go a long way. This gold one I was playing with last night and came up with this. This is printable sticker paper. I got that pattern off of the internet was able to transfer it to my Cricut and did a print and cut on it. And then I did all of the glitters on here. So I've got a few more things to do and then I'm gonna put kind of a phrase on the front of that. And here's the one that is on its final coat. You may remember this one. I bought it at Goodwill and it had sayings on it about um, best teacher. I did put this on that says bling and then a little like diamond or something on it. This is the one that just came off of the turner and it's one will get uh, something put on the front of it also. So here are my supplies. I've got my electrical tape to go around the top or the bottom of anything. I've got the lids. I've got my cups for measuring. These are if I end up needing any more cushion in between the football or the ball when it goes in to the turner. Let's say this isn't uh, big enough to make that tumbler sit tight, then I can shove one of these in. So that works out really well. I have my popsicle sticks that are stirrers, and then I've got a couple of paint brushes. This angle here, just look at how shiny that is. Here are some of the really fun glitters that I've gotten. This is in the kids section of Michael's, and I love this copper. That's what this glitter is. Then I have copper, a bronze, and like a black shimmer. And those are the ones that I used on this. And I've got this big glitter that was used on this. And on the one that is over there, I've got those. So I used all fine glitters on that one. And then this one here, will, but these are all recollections. So these are all from Michaels also. And I just picked those up the other day. I wanna say these were like $3.99. I think this was like $1.99. And then I have the glitters that I had purchased at Target. And I got this one the other day. And then let me grab this one. So that's what's on these. And then I do have some iridescent real fine glitter right here. And the other one that I did buy and I haven't used yet is this Black Magic. What I do is I capture my glitters. Um, I've learned to put a piece of copy paper underneath here when I am glittering so that I can recapture my glitter and put it back into its container. I get so excited when I get going that a lot of times I completely forget to change that out. So what happens is I end up with two, three different glitters on my piece of paper and all I've been doing is just throwing them in together. So you can see right here, there's definitely a mixture of glitters. 
and the same for this one and definitely this one too which is fine because we're kind of making our own cut at that point. something else that i had found that i had when we have little bits of glitter i've got an entire little case of these little containers this might be what's going on the animal print one and then this is going on one of them and I'm working on a couple of designs right now. I've got one for my daughter and her saying, I have here two, let me find it. That's for my daughter. Look what I bought on Saturday. I'm so excited. Now I'm gonna actually be able to do more than one tumbler at a time. Oh, I wanted to start out and show you from the beginning. Uh, the first thing that I did was I roughed this up so that I could take the shine off of it so that I don't end up with the epoxy not sticking to it. And this is the turner that I made out of the rotisserie a couple of months ago. And I absolutely love it. But now that I've been making a few of these here and there, the timing just takes so long that I need a second one because you can only do so much when you've got one on the spinner and you are waiting for that to be dry and do your next project. I'm putting my uh, epoxy on and I am trying to get it nice and smooth. And as soon as I feel like there's an even coat on here and it's not too thick, I am going to start with my glitters. I'm trying to get as close to this one as possible. start out with our teal and a little bit of blue and then we're gonna go into our pinks and then into our blue and then I think we're going to put a little bit of iridescence over the whole thing and I'm so excited to know that once I get this one going I can move on and start doing my second one I'm working on these tumblers for our vacation we usually bring what we we just call party cups and this year I wanted to make some. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my larger glitter. Okay, I'm gonna slide a piece of copy paper up underneath here and this will help me capture my glitter so that I don't waste everything. And then what I can do is put it back into some kind of a container. Now I can tell that this has a couple of colors in it, um, which means that as usual, I forgot to change out my paper. So. Once that happens, I just go ahead and collect all of it and I just have created my own new cut. So, no problem with that. I'm going to stop this for a minute and I'm gonna pull this out and I am going to glitter the bottom. Open my turner so we can continue. I'm going to recollect my glitter here and we are going to continue our chunky glitter first and then we use our fine glitters on top of that you can fill in any spaces that the larger glitter didn't cover and then we're going to use the fine glitter just pour on top of that so that we fill in any spaces that may have been left by putting on the larger glitter. So now what we're gonna do is move on and we're gonna take that up over here. If I need to, I can go over with the teal in fine and then the pink in fine also and that will help bring everything together. So I'm gonna use what I have of this one first. I think I'm going to add this. A little bit of purple. I mean, who knows how, how much this will take. This is the blue we're going to use. I think I just used the wrong color. All right, I'm going to go over this just a little bit and then we'll get out a different color. And this is the color we should have been using. So I'm going to go heavy on this. And I'm 
I'm just gonna keep a heavy hand on this. And then when I feel like I've got everything nice and covered, I think I will go over it with the iridescence. Okay, I think that looks really pretty. So now I'm gonna go over the whole thing with iridescent white. And that is what gave this, my hand is all dirty. That is what gave this the sparkle. And once again, I'm not worried about having a heavy hand on this. And now we just need to let this tumble for probably about six hours. So here's one that I have started to make for myself and it's a little crazy. Um, I did want the ombre colors with the bronze and the copper and the golds, but I just went a little bit crazy and I decided I wanted to bejewel this. So I'm gonna take my epoxy and I'm gonna paint in between all these little areas just to make sure that the epoxy gets on and in between all of these. I have no idea how this will turn out, but hey, it's just practice, right? And I'm hoping that it helps level itself out as it turns rather than pooling where all these little jewels are. I'm going to start pouring and get down here and then I can come up and around. Just make sure I get the bottom. This doesn't have to be a thick coat so I'm smoothing this up from the bottom to the top and I am making sure also that I'm getting the very edge of the cup. I'm gonna go on to some other fun project. So we'll be back and look at both of these in a while. And then on this one here, I did decide to add white on top of the decal I was putting on because that gold just didn't pop enough to show you what the words said. And then on this one here, I did put the saying on that I showed you that was on my Cricut Design Space. So then I put the final coat of epoxy over these. So these are finished and ready to move on to the next project. <laughs> 